up, my bridges? If you're new here, hello, my name is Brittany, and we're back, baby, for another episode of Yes or Yawn. This was inspired from Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. We're just here to sit down, chitty chat, look real fucking good, and drink. <laughs> because why not? We're drinking high noons again tonight, everyone. What's everybody drinking? I see all the bridges coming in the live chat. What's good? What's poppin'? I'm so excited today. Mainly because I'm trying a new eyeshadow palette. Like a, basically like a new eyeshadow palette brand for me. We're gonna use the Viseart today. The new Viseart, the Paris Etole. I'm gonna use a bunch of new makeup. If you guys saw my last video, I did a haul. Was it? Yeah, it was like my candle day haul, I think. Or not my last video, the video before. So I'm gonna use a bunch of new goodies. What's not exciting about that? So if you guys are new or returning, whichever, I mean, of course, be subscribed. And make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up or thumbs down. That's cool, too. If you guys like these videos, though, come through with a thumbs up. So, okay, we come back every single Monday and we're just here to talk about new makeup releases. And I have Samantha's channel linked down below. I have her community playlist down below. And all of the products that we're going to talk about will likely be linked down there and all of the Instagram accounts that I refer to when doing these videos, everything is in the description box. And if you guys want to know anything that I use today, just leave a comment or check the pinned comment. Maybe if I'm feeling froggy, I'll link everything for you. We'll see. We'll see how froggy I'm feeling. So let's just dive right in. So we, we got to start this way every single time. I know you guys are probably sick of it, but <laughs> I don't care. Shameless plug. Are you guys following me on Instagram? If you're not, you should be, and make sure you're following me on TikTok. I just hit, like, 50K or something crazy like that on TikTok. I'm just like, I'll never understand the algorithm over there. But I have so much fun filming little TikToks, so make sure you guys are following me there as well. But Instagram is where I post all of my pictures. I post my, like, transitions and shit. They're on TikTok too, but make sure y'all are following me, and let's dive into all the new makeup releases, the beauty news. Oh, look, look, it's so fresh and so clean. I didn't have time to do my hair. <laughs> All right, let's start with the Sephora sale that's going on, everyone. And if you didn't know, like, if this is your very first one, I do my makeup at the same time. So, all aboard, everybody. All aboard the Hot Mess Express, as per usual. So, Sephora sale, 20% off for everyone is happening right now. This is on a one-time purchase. I'm saving mine. Actually, I, sh I really shouldn't even save it because I'll literally just create a new email if I have to. <laughs> so 20% off using the code gift easy. It ends Sunday, December 12th. I was basically waiting for like one of the products that we're going to, we're going to talk about today. I'm waiting for that to drop. And then I think I'm going to place my order. I don't plan on getting a ton of stuff. So you'll probably see a Sephora haul like really early in January. <laughs> Because I'm over here, like, I'm still so overwhelmed with my collection just in general. I need to do a declutter, and then I need to organize my shit. But 20% off of Sephora. If you guys haven't picked anything up, or if you're Christmas shopping still, make sure you guys check it out. Because especially, like, if you're not a rouge, this is the best time to shop at Sephora. Because I'd be big mad if I spent, like, a shit ton of money during the, um, like, the VIB sale. And then they go and pull this shit, like, a week after. <laughs> like, the fuck? But it's fine. Look at... Let's talk about this really quick. This was sent to me by Bobby Brown and Octoly. Look at that difference that that makes for my under eye. Like, it amazes me, like, every single time. <laughs> it's this little product. It's, the like, the corrector. Side note, but I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> it looks so good. Anyways... <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. What do we have next? Do we have any more news? Yes, we do. Very exciting news. Ready for this? One of my favorite brands for hair care, Olaplex, is coming to Ulta. So fucking excited. Because I always tell you guys I'm more favorable towards shopping at Ulta. Just because their point system is better. But I usually shop Olaplex at Cosmoprof anyways. Because I got the hookup. My sister's a licensed cosmetologist. <laughs> so I always get their stuff for like a significant discount. Like half off pretty much. 
that's just like the perks of being like a professional you know my my sister's a cosmetologist like i said so i usually get my stuff there but if i was just like an average consumer and i didn't have that ability i would buy it at ulta so i love olaplex i'll actually be posting a tiktok probably tonight actually basically going through all of the products that i've tried from olaplex and saying which ones are worth it and which ones are not so if you guys want to see that you can go check out my TikTok, and I'll probably post that, like, right after. I gotta do my hair and shit, but whatever. It's fine. So this is so exciting, especially for me, because that's a brand that I fucking love. I don't know why I started doing my face makeup either. I'm gonna go to my eyes now. <laughs> Again, hot fucking mess. So I've gotten so many messages about this Scott Barnes Holiday Music Box. It's, like, $225. So spency, which I expect super spency price points when it comes to Scott Barnes. But I always tell you guys, never pay full price for Scott Barnes simply because he always has sales. He always has at minimum 20% off, but he just had 40% off. He's done, I'm going to say he's done 30% off pretty regularly. But with this, I'm like, I don't know if this will go on discount like that. But I think if it did, I would be more likely to get it because, listen, I fucking love Scott Barnes. And make sure you guys are telling me what you think of this stuff, too, as we go through everything. I love his products. I think his brand is so slept on in the world of, like, social media. Like, on YouTube, like, barely anybody talks about his products, and they're so fucking good. But I wonder if it's because of the price or maybe it's because of how he does like the um how he basically has sales all the time like I always say I'm like if anything I would rather have like give me less sales and just lower your fucking price that's just me in my humble opinion but I still buy from this brand because I love the quality of his products especially his blush palette his eyeshadows incredible so this little holiday or I shouldn't say little it's not as big as I thought because I saw our friend Steffi Glam did a video on this because she bought it with like express shipping. Like <laughs> she got her so fucking fast. But this looks beautiful. It's just way too much for me. That's why I looked at it. I'm like, oh my God, I want it because I want to own it because it's Scott Barnes. But I'm like, I don't fucking need this because I know just because of the size I won't reach for it, and this is going to be a pain in the dick for me to store. So that's where I'm just like, okay, I could appreciate it from far away, but that doesn't mean I need to buy it. But I have no doubt in my mind that this is probably incredible. <laughs> just because his products are so good. Like, across the board, everything I've tried from Scott Barnes has been good. Like, I don't, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I didn't love. I think, if anything, the most, like, underwhelming for me has been his... What do I want to say is the most underwhelming? I haven't tried his bronzers yet. Underwhelming. Maybe the Mesmerize palette, just because I know it's so spency, and that I know a lot of, like, indie brands fucking crush it with shades that are just like the ones that are in there, but I bought mine, and I got it for, like, 20 bucks, <laughs> because I had, like, a bunch of rewards from shopping his brand already. Like, if you ever shop from his brand, make sure you're checking your rewards as well, okay? So, this one, I haven't gotten it yet, but everybody was asking me, like, oh, Brittany, are you gonna get it? And I'm just like, nah, I know I won't reach for it. And if you guys had said, like, you wanted a review on it, I would have done it. But even you guys were not even interested at all just because of the size of it. I wish he did something that was more, I guess, like, sized down. But then again, I think this would be such a good gift for somebody because this gives you, like, all of his products. Like, you get eyeshadows, blushes, highlighters, bronzers, contours, like, literally everything that you could want especially if you have somebody that's a dancer like what a cute fucking gift <laughs> so this one I was like I could appreciate it but that doesn't mean I need to buy it so I saved myself $225 but don't be surprised if it goes on sale or something and you see it come on my channel don't don't be surprised because <laughs> we all know I'm a clown and buy shit that I don't need right <laughs> 
So next one we have, this is the Jouet, right? Jouet? Yes. Okay. Because I've done that before where I thought it was Jouet and it definitely wasn't. So this is the Jouet, the Radiant Translucent Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. Let's see, $28, a soft, silky, translucent, pearlized, universal pressed powder that hydrates for comfortable wear and diffuses the look of imperfections for a blurred, radiant finish. This sounds like it would be up my alley, but it kind of makes me nervous because whenever I hear, like, hydrate powder, it reminds me of that tragic powder from Becca. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Wear alone or over foundation as a setting and finishing powder with a luminous finish. With hyaluronic acid and vitamin E, vegan cruelty free, 28 bucks. 20% 20 of the proceeds go to UNICEF. I'm not sure what that is. Available. It's already available on their website and also at Beautylish. I wonder if this is at Sephora. I say this every fucking time I talk about Jouer. I... I feel like their aesthetic is so my vibe. Like, they just, they look like they're a luxury brand. I love their packaging. I just, I love everything about them. So I'm like, do I need this right now? Hell to the not. I've got more than enough fucking powders that I know what to do with. But if I was in the market for one, I'd probably entertain this one. The luminous finish would kind of make me a little bit nervous. <laughs> Just because if things are too luminous, they can accentuate texture like way more than I would like them to. So I'm always like, all right, I'm willing to give it a shot. <laughs> but I mean, the price isn't bad. If this was at Sephora and I got that 20% off, I would consider throwing it in my car. Are you guys interested in this? Oh, it's a European charity. Thank you, Zana. I always feel like I pronounce your name wrong. I, f I feel like I also pronounce it different every time I say it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Last time I was at Sephora, like a week ago. <laughs> I wonder, I just saw Carla said, it's pretty, but do you think it'd be similar to Dior? I thought of that. I'm like, maybe it's kind of like the powder, no powder. I hear amazing things about their blushes, especially. Like you guys are all saying, their blushes are incredible. But I feel like they're another brand too, like, you can't go wrong with their powders, but I have, who the fuck is, Evan must be here. I'm like, who is talking upstairs? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll end up snagging this. If, I mean, that's a big if, because I was going to say if I run out of a powder, but we all know that ain't going to fucking happen. <laughs> then we have Good Molecules. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Essence. How much is this? $14. I knew it was going to be super inexpensive. Available. It's already available. It was November 25th. Wow, I'm so behind. We didn't do a new makeup releases last week, so that's where I'm a little bit behind with everything this week, so I apologize, everyone, but it's fine. We're going to get through it. I'm going to need to, I'm gonna need to keep going with my makeup, though. <laughs> like, what the fuck am I doing? All right, so here's my thing. Let's read what this is about. Boost your skin's hydration levels with three forms of hyaluronic acid sink into skin penetrating at different levels to help smooth firm and hydrate $14 okay cool whatever here's my thing I feel like this happens every time anything says hyaluronic acid I'm like Brittany this is gonna break you out every single time and I love the good molecules the silicone free priming moisturizer that's like holy grail status I love that damn product and it's super inexpensive and it works amazing but I feel like pretty much everything else besides like maybe a select few other products they don't work for my skin and I did myself dirty with skincare because I went to Tatcha <laughs> I went to Tatcha and fucked up my whole shit because now I compare literally everything to that and nothing is going to compare, right? I'm just like, when I'm comparing Tatcha to something like this, there's not going to be a comparison, at least in my humble opinion, or at least just based on my experience. But especially like when I see good molecules, I'm like, I can appreciate it because it is super inexpensive. And if you don't have like problematic skin, I, they, these just, they don't work for me. And especially hyaluronic acid, it's just like, nope, it's going to demolish my face. And is anybody else like this as well? 
whenever I put hyaluronic acid on my face, it dries out my skin. Like I even do it like I have water on my face before I apply it. I put the moisture on, moisturizer on after and my skin feels drier. It doesn't make no damn sense. And I'm sick and tired of it. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of trying these acids and them doing me completely dirty because that's what keeps happening. So that's where whenever I see hyaluronic acid, I know that there's some people that will buy products specifically for that. No, not me. If anything, it makes me second guess it even more. Like that automatically turned me off when it came to that product right there. So that's just me and my skin. Ugh, I wish my skin loved it though because I, I love the idea of it, but nah. Okay, next one. We have Rugrats. What brand is this? Hip Dot times Rugrats. This is the... A Rugrats... Is it... Pro... It's pronounced Hanukkah, right? But it says... Ch... Chanaka. Why have I never seen it spelled that way? Or is that... I don't know. I'm, like, confused right now. I'm like, is that how Hanukkah is spelled? Because I didn't think I had a C... But I don't fucking know. Anyways, this is a collection from Hip Dot in collaboration with Rugrats. When I tell you how much I used to love Rugrats when I was little, <laughs> oh my god, loved it with my whole life. Like, would watch it every single day on Nickelodeon. So, there's an eyeshadow palette. We have double-sided glosses, a blue sponge, sheet mask, a collector's box. Like, this is so damn cute. Am I gonna get this? Probably not. That palette, though, like, that palette is totally giving me, like, BH Cosmetics vibes. I'm not mad at this, like, little collab, but <laughs> a part of me wants to get it just because I love fucking Rugrats, but I need to chill. Okay, if you got kids or something, like, this could potentially be super cute, you know, like, getting into makeup or something, but it's, like, kids these days, though, like, are they gonna, do they still play Rugrats? Like, do kids know? Do they know about Rugrats like we do? Let me know. I feel like I haven't, like, I never saw Evan and Jocelyn. They never watched Rugrats. So I'm like, is it still on? Like, are they still playing reruns? Are they still making it and I just don't know it? What's the tea? Like, Rugrats and Ah Real Monsters was my shit when I was growing up. And Rocco's Modern Life and Doug. Oh, yeah, we're kicking it way back. Uh, hey, Arnold. Yup. Mm-hmm. I want to see you in the Chucky mask. <laughs> I mean, it's cute. Like I said, I can appreciate it because the nostalgia, like, the nostalgia aspect for me, like, lives, breathes, and dies for it. But then I'm just like, Brittany, chill. Like, just fucking chill. That's what you need to do is chill the fuck out. <laughs> I'm really trying to make this eye look do something right now. I'm like, what am I even doing? <laughs> Why do you guys watch me do makeup? Me asking this question every single video because I truly don't understand why people like watching my videos. All right. So, I mean, price point, obviously not bad. The eyeshadow palette is $24. The double-sided glosses are $16. The sponge is $10. The sheet mask are $10. Collection box is $78. Okay, cute. Not bad price, but still doesn't mean that I need to get it. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> you hate Rugrats? Get out. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I mean... I'm getting sick and tired of the britches coming in this live chat and the disrespect on the TV shows that I love. All right. First, it was Sex in the City and people are like, um, I don't like it. I don't get the hype. <laughs> I'm just like literally shitting on my entire existence right now. <laughs> but it's so good. I used to love it. I mean, I would still probably sit down and watch it. Mm-hmm. Totally would. All right. Let's see what we have next. Let's go with, let me look, let me look. What's next? What's next? Oh, I've got some, some news for you about this brand. So we've got She Glam Official is launching the Horoscope Collection. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, 
I'm not trying to offend anybody. I don't fucking get people in horoscopes. I don't get it. Like, help me understand how people are so obsessed. Because I don't fucking get it. (laughs) At all. I'm like, is this like a fantasy world that I'm like totally missing out on? Again, I'm not trying to be offensive. I just genuinely don't understand like what the appeal is and everything when it comes to horoscopes and people are probably going to roast me for that right understand so this is eyeshadow palettes are six dollars each this is basically Shein's um makeup brand little update because i told you guys i picked up that um what the hell was the collection called basically like their multi-chrome collection i ordered it a month ago and it still hadn't shipped out i canceled that fucking order i'm like no 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 No, 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 no. I don't care how inexpensive it is. I am not waiting over a fucking month for something that wasn't on a pre-order. Not fucking happening. So, I really don't have any intention on picking up anything from She Glam again. But, I feel like people are always raving about their stuff. But I was just like, wow, couldn't have had, like, a worse, um, basically, like, shopping experience. And then, I mean, I got my refund pretty quickly so like the customer service aspect was really nice but I'm like why the fuck does it take so long to process orders like I truly don't get it so this one I'm just like all right I don't get it with the horoscopes (laughs) when you learn more about it it's interesting and can be spot on all right somebody fill me in I'm a Taurus like is anything about me accurate with like what's according to my horoscope change my mind (laughs) <laughs> horoscopes are cool it's Sagittarius season birthday party for me next week it's my husband's birthday this weekend we're having a banger for him I'm so excited he's gonna be 40 he's 40 he's old as fuck I'm just kidding uh let's see it's coming from China even still it's like <laughs> I don't know that just felt like it took so long let's see uh <laughs> You guys are all saying what you guys are. They're interesting, but people take that way too seriously. That, that to me is where I'm just like, help me understand because people like, I've come across people that like, won't talk to certain people because of their horoscope. I'm like, y'all need to fucking chill. That's the main part that I don't understand, but I'm, it's, it's, yeah, it's the people that take it like way too far. I'm just like. I mean, if that's your hobby, cool, but maybe pick another one. I'm just kidding. Do whatever the fuck you want. But <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't relate in that aspect. Like, I've had people that are, like, I'll meet them and their first question is, what's your sign? And I'm just like, does it fucking matter? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me and how I am as a person. I don't know. <laughs> That's just fucking dumb. (laughs) I know. And that is my thoughts exactly. But it's like, I get it. People are into it though. Like, and I could see it being interesting. It's just because I don't know enough about it. Like everybody probably fucking unfollowed me after that, but it's fine. I'm not interested at all in that collection in case you didn't, in case you didn't realize it. Cause I'm like, okay, the palettes are cute, but overall I'm just like, nah, I I'm totally turned off by the brand. Okay, this next one, this was meant to be in the beginning, but I forgot to add it. Valentino Beauty Baby is now available at Sephora, which this was one of the brands that I was considering picking up during this Ulta 20% off because I have been dying to try Valentino Beauty, but I haven't heard the best reviews on especially the packaging. So the nosy bitch in me, I see thumbs down. Y'all are hating my ass for not liking horoscopes. I see you. (laughs) It's fine. Everybody's into their own shit. Anyways, Valentino Beauty, the packaging is what I hear, I hear like probably the worst things about. I really haven't heard that much about them since, but a part of me is like, I don't care because I love luxury shit. And I feel like I would probably like these. The main thing I'm interested in, though, is the foundation. Everything else, I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. Like, when I first saw it, I'm like, ooh, bitch. Like, I kind of love it. And then the more that I've looked at it, I'm like, 
really, I think the only thing I'm, like, here for is probably the, um, probably the foundation. Yeah. I think even still. Oh, thumbs down for Valentino? That could possibly be, too. <laughs> but why? Like, what don't you guys love about it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't if you guys aren't here for it. Next we have, I think this is Violet Voss. Yes, Violet, Violet Voss, the mini sunflower eyeshadow palette for $18 or the I Rust You eyeshadow palette for $45. I feel like I always saw Violet Vox, Violet Voss in like BoxyCharm and stuff. Do y'all just have brands that you hear good things about, but you're still like, nah, I don't care enough to get them? I'm pretty sure I've had Violet Voss palettes in my collection before, and I never even touched them. That metallic is so nice. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, super duper pigmented. Yes, bitch. Okay. Um... I feel like Violet Voss is one of those brands for me. Like, I see what they're launching. It's like, um, I think it's an aesthetic thing. Like, I notice it more and more, too. Like, the more makeup that I actually invest in, I'm very, um, judgy with the aesthetic. <laughs> so this aesthetic, I'm like, first of all, I feel like that sunflower palette would have been much more appropriate in, like, Basically, like, summer going into fall, just because I feel like that's when I would probably wear something like that the most. Either way, this collection is just like, okay, it's cute, but still not interested. Nah. <laughs> At least that's how I feel about it. I'm just kind of like, no, no, just still a miss. I think the only eyeshadow palette that I was actually, like, somewhat excited for, but I never even actually ended up getting it, was... It was like a green color one, but I can't remember what the hell it was called. But that's the only time, and it's not because it was Violet Voss. It was just because it was a green palette. It would have been that way no matter what brand it was, except for, like, a select few. I'm, like, shook over that freaking lid right now. So these palettes, I'm not excited about them. I don't really like just the overall look of them. Yeah, I'm not here for it. Look at this. Look at this metallic moment, though, right? That's cute. I could get down with that. All right, let's keep going. Let's go to Juvia's Place. I think there was a few different from Juvia's Place this week. So this first one is the new eyeshadow palette for holiday 2021. I need to stop, like, first of all, buying <laughs> colorful palettes because I really don't use them. Like, this palette, it has color, but it's not colorful. When I say colorful, I mean, like, a bunch of just random-ass colors kind of thrown in a palette that, to me, is not, like, an inspiring color story, or I don't feel like the shades really go together, based on, like, how I do my makeup. So, like, I know that there's other people that would probably love a palette like this, but for me, I'm just like, all right, Juvia's Place, they make really great quality eyeshadows for a really good price. It's probably, like, 10 bucks. I don't think there's a price on here. Super inexpensive, usually good quality, but the color stories don't necessarily fit, like, my makeup aesthetic, but especially if you have, like, deeper skin, I feel like that's where they really nail it, is for, like, designing palettes that would be amazing for deeper complexions. So, for me, I'm just, like, based on how I do my makeup, easy pass for me, but I could still appreciate it. Like, I think this would be a good, like, if you already had, like, your basics and then you just wanted, like, pops of color in your collection... This would be a good one to basically, like, have with it. But me and, the, like, the way that I purchase palettes... Oh, it's $15. Like, still super inexpensive. I like to have basically everything in a palette. Like, if I'm buying a palette, I like it to be, one, visually appealing for me. But the other thing is, like, if the colors go together, like, the textures. Like, I like the variety of textures. Y'all already know this. Long story long... I mean, it's cute, but I'm just not going to get it just because I don't feel like I need it. <laughs> then we have Laneige. They're coming out with, I think this is a collaboration with Amore Pacific. Is that how you pronounce it? What is this? They're best-selling lip sleep mask and gummy bear with limited edition packaging inspired 
by the Permission to Dance on stage tour with a sweet gummy bear set and BTS, B, what is it? BTS tour artwork on the packaging, $24. I feel like people love this product. Like, I'm one of those people, like, I like it. But, um, have you tried Jack Black lip balms? Because <laughs> those are the bomb.com. I don't need this. Like, I think it's great seeing, like, the collab aspect of it. But that doesn't mean that I need to buy it. But it's, I mean, it's cool. I would have liked to have seen, like, a little bit more as far as packaging goes. Because, I don't, I guess it's just because I don't know enough about, like, everything involved in this type of thing but it, like if you like the if you already like the product or you like the gum can you guys see me i just froze on my end but i think you guys could see me again i'm gonna keep going all right next one we have oh this is gonna be like a mini review for you guys too we have lawless beauty they're coming out with the lip filler lip plumping line smoothing gloss and i think this is a new shade no two new shades george and glaze these are 15 dollars a piece or no, maybe it's a, a like a set for $15. That makes more sense because these are fucking tiny. Do I have them right here? These are teeny, teeny, tiny. So it's got to be two for $15. Like if one of these was $15, I'd have questions. Update. Y'all might hate me for this, but I don't get the hype with these. Like, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Brittany doesn't get the hype with something that has a lot of hype. <laughs> story of my fucking life I feel I think I'm always the one that's just like oh this has a lot of hype let me shit all over it so when I compare this to other lip glosses <laughs> I don't get it because there's other glosses that are way better just based on how I feel a gloss should be like these they're not really that shiny they're not really that juicy. I'm just like, they feel to me almost just like a balm. Like, basically like a lip balm, right? I don't know. Like, I feel like I... Why do I keep freezing? This is really pissing me off. Fucking YouTube, man. I... Again, I, I just don't get the hype. <laughs> Front Porch Beauty. Yes. If I go glossy, I go Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath. Or Scott Barnes. The best. Oh, BTS is a Korean boy brand. Okay, that makes more sense. I don't know why it keeps freezing. It's gotta be either something with my internet or something with YouTube. Probably because I'm saying fuck too much. <laughs> or, I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't keep happening, but occasionally it does from time to time. Uh, oh, and it's wind. It's really windy out, so that could be why too. I just saw Kathleen said it's stormy this evening. That could be why. Tom Ford gloss is the best for me. I don't really like the Tom Ford packaging for his glosses. I don't, I couldn't really look past it when I got the holiday one. So I think that's why I was really turned off by it. But I feel like I should get another one. Like between the shade of the holiday one, like I did not like, that was like one of my least favorite glosses I think of all time. So... I feel like I should try his glosses again, but I don't like how the applicator is like, uh, how do I want to explain it? It's almost like, um, too flexible. Does anybody else have that issue? At least the ho the holiday one is the only gloss I ever had from Tom Ford. But yeah, these lawless ones, I don't get it because I, I just, I guess I feel like I used to hear so many people rave about this, right? If you guys like these, like, tell me why. Because <laughs> some people probably do like the, um, they feel very hydrating, which is nice. But the overall, like, gloss aspect, I'm just like, nah. It's a not for me. This one. What the fuck? Ah, why did my camera just do that? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta try to fix this. Maybe that's why it stopped. The beauty of live streams. I don't know if I can fix... I think I have to turn my camera off and then turn it back on again. Please hold, okay? Don't go anywhere, okay? I'll be right back. 
Oh my god, this hasn't happened ever in a live, I don't think. Come on. Okay, we're good. Maybe that's why I kept freezing. I don't fucking know. Anyways, let's blend this out before I can't blend it anymore. Charlotte Tilbury, baby. <laughs> Isn't that so weird how it turns green like that? It's just like the connection, I think, from um, basically like my camera to my computer. Because sometimes I'll have to like turn off my camera multiple times to get it to fix. <laughs> Guys, I told you, listen. <laughs> the hot mess express is here okay charlotte tilbury the beautiful skin foundation for a healthy looking skin fuck me up yes i cannot wait for this this was the one i saw and i'm just like yes <laughs> i usually don't get soups excited for charlotte tilbury like previous to now like Basically, before, I fell in love with so many of her products, but now every time Charlotte Tilbury comes out with something new, like, don't get it twisted. I'm not talking about new, like, when she pretends to do something new when she does, like, pillow talk or when she just does basically, like, another new lipstick. That's not exciting to me. If she's doing a new foundation that's, like, a different type of formula, yes, I'm gonna be excited for that. So this... I was totally here for it. And I'm like, I didn't even read about it. I'm just like, yup. <laughs> I let that dry way too much on my face before I started blending it out. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to liven this up again. <laughs> that dries down so fast. So let's read about it, shall we? This is the, a science and color innovation foundation, medium coverage, instant glow infused with hydrating hyaluronic acid. What's with hyaluronic acid and brightening rose complex to improve the look of skin every time you wear it? Skin looks radiant, plump, and smooth in 30 different shades. One ounce or 30 milliliters will be available January 5th. Yes. I'm going to try to keep my eyes peeled because sometimes we can get Charlotte Tilbury, like, early access. So if I see this go live, I will make sure that I post it on my community page and probably on my Insta story as well. But damn, I'm so fucking here for it. So here for it. And hopefully we'll get like some sort of a code. You know, get a little percentage off. That would be nice. See, if you ever have your shit dry down, just spray your face and bam, good as new. I feel like the one side kind of looks a little fucked up, but it's fine. This foundation, I'm totally here for it. I want it. I'm going to get it. <laughs> Okay, next one we have a brand that I don't even like talking about because I'm never interested after how bad they did me dirty, but we'll carry on. MAC Cosmetics, they're doing the Keith Herring Collection. I don't even know who that is. Not trying to be offensive. I just genuinely don't know who that person is. So naturally right, right there, I'm not going to be excited just because, okay, don't know who the collaborator is. And this, I'm just like, no, no, don't like the packaging. I'm just, I'm still pissed at Mac and I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> nice trick at the cream products dry down. Yes. Cause the amount of times that that happens to me is ridiculous. Cause I get so sidetracked with like everything. <laughs> I just use my Dior concealer. Like. I don't know. Like, I'm just so over Mac. I'm so over Mac until they do something like what they used to do. Or at least like what I remember that they used to do. Maybe it's all in my head. Maybe I just thought they were so much better than they actually were. Maybe that's the case. Because I'm just over here like, how was this one of like, not even one of, how was this the makeup brand back in the day? <laughs> Amanda said, why are you mad at Mac? Tempting Fate Collection. That's why. Did me so dirty. I was so excited about that damn collection. And it was the fucking worst. It was horrible. Like, do not recommend at all. So bad. So, so bad. <laughs> yeah, like these lipsticks, I'm just like, I don't even care to cover it. But whatever, I'll go through it. Three Viva Glam lipsticks inspired by Keith Haring's signature primary color palette. Mix, match, and create limitless, limitless, 
Limitless looks with red, yellow, and blue colors and matte and frost finishes. Each work of pop art comes animated with Keith Haring symbol or oh, symbolic street style imagery, $19 a piece. Yeah, I just, I don't, no. No, I won't use something like this. I know that I won't. I know that some people would probably love these, like, makeup artists, artists would probably love something like this, but me, I'm just like, yeah, nah, nah, sorry, Keith, but nah, I'm still mad at Mac. It's Mac's fault. <laughs> okay, let's go to Fenty. We've got some Fenty skin. Let's see. This is the retexturizing 10% AHA treatment and reusable applicator by Fenty skin. Oh, the pre-show glow instant retexturizing 10%. Okay. Um, back to what I said earlier, like I don't really get excited about anything besides Tatcha when it comes to skincare because my skin's so problematic. So um uh, that's all I really can say. <laughs> For a quick and easy radiant complexion, it brightens smooth and refines the look of pores. That has my attention. <laughs> Thanks to its potent cocktail of alpha hydroxy acids, AHAs, robot, I don't know that word, and fruit enzymes and extracts, glowing and photo ready skin and just what is just one minute away. Bitch, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> Glowy skin in one minute? Um, do we need to test that theory? Do I have the wrong shade on? I think I pulled the wrong... I did. I pulled the wrong shade. This is way too dark for me right now. Let me take this off. That fooled me. Is anybody interested? <laughs> oh, shit. The La Re... I can't even read that. Double Repair Moisturizer has replaced your dewy skin cream. What brand is that by? Or is that the word that I can't pronounce? Is that the brand? Ooh. That sounds like a challenge as well. Available December 10. I wonder if it comes in a mini. It says it's 40 bucks. If that came in a mini, I would be very interested to try it. Can we talk about... That's one of the things I loved about the Paula's Choice one. That's the one that I've been kind of using in and out. I love the fact that there is a travel size of that. I'm a big fan, especially when I'm trying a new product for skincare. I love when they're available in smaller sizes just because it doesn't quite hurt as much investing. <laughs> La Rouge Pose? I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong and without the correct accent, but... We get it. Okay, I'm going to have to look into that. It's replaced your Tatcha. Oh, shit. <laughs> I question anything that says glowy skin in a minute. See, that's the type of shit I'm like, I want to buy it just to prove it wrong. I want to be like, oh, one minute away, huh? Let's test that theory. Because that's like, wait, that's like false advertisement if that's not true. So maybe it does work. <laughs> oh let's see my twin sister was wearing the fenty contour the other day and i had to ask her what it was have never asked anyone what their contour okay what was it like was there a specific shade or was it just did she just say the fenty contour stick i initially tried that when it first came out but that was like when i wasn't really into cream products like i am now i would be curious to revisit that one but um, I remember it being a more, like, tough formula. Like, it wasn't super creamy and blendable. It was, I don't know, like, I couldn't draw it on my face. I would have to use, like, the brush technique, like, basically, like, run my brush through it. Mmm, maybe I'll have to try that one. I want to try their bronzer. I don't think I ever tried the bronzer. Thinking back, remember when that was so hyped up? Like, when that first launched? Oh, my God. People lost their minds over the Fenty bronzer. Holy crap. I feel like that was in everybody's best of beauty. <laughs> oh, let's see. I like the Fenty eyeliners, Lady, Lo Lady Lagoon, and the pink one. I have... It's like a khaki green. It's beautiful. The fly liner... Or not the fly liners. I forget what the hell they're called. But I have the green one. And yes, they are fantastic. That's one of the best products I think I've tried from Fenty. 
Because I have, like, a love-hate relationship. I don't know. This one, if it was in a mini size, I would consider grabbing it. I feel like I was on that one for way too long. <laughs> and then another one I got a lot of tags on and DMs was Kay Alley is launching another new fragrance. So this is the Eden Juicy Apple 01. When it says 01, that means they got it right in the first shot with how they basically, when they number their, um, Found, or foundations. I was just looking at foundation. When they number their, like, scents, they ba I think this is what Mona had said. They basically put how many times they had to redo, like, the formula to get it just right. So this one, they must have knocked it out of the park in the first one. So Eden Juicy Apple. Fruity, floral, and deliciously sweet. Fusion of crisp and juicy red apples, sweet berries, and fresh floral notes. $25, $85, and $118. The top note is Juicy Red Apple, Black Currant, Pink Grapefruit, Leche. Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> Middle is Wild Berries, Raspberry Blossom, Jasmine, and Rose Centifolia, I think. <laughs> Hooked on Phonics worked great for me, guys. Um, vanilla Flower, Amber Crystals, Sugared Moss, and Sensual Musk are the dry notes. Oh. Available in December on their website. I wonder if this will come to Sephora. They need to do, like, a giant, basically, like, sampler set. Leche! <laughs> oh, Zana's over there still, <laughs> still trying to pronounce La Roche Posay. <laughs> this seriously sounds like having in a bottle. Little update, like total side note. Guys, I don't think I like that Billie Eilish fragrance. Mini update for you. It reminds me of something, and I think it's like a Bath and Body Works fragrance. <laughs> Not Leche. Leche. What the fuck? Listen, I told you Hooked on Phonics worked great for me. <laughs> so are y'all interested in it? Let me know what's your favorite KLA fragrance. I'm still, I'm still wanting the invite only. That one just sounds like it smells so good. And you guys are always raving about it. Okay. Another one you guys were sending me in DMs on Instagram. <laughs> Artist Couture. The Quickie Palette. <laughs> I feel like I need it just for the name. But okay. Let's talk about this real quick. So, I'm I'm waiting to place my order on Sephora. I may pick this up. <laughs> but let me tell you about my intentions and expectations. I'm expecting to fucking hate this. And the reason I say that is, I'm going to use the Hourglass Trio since I said that I would today. I don't like these little palettes because the quality is typically caca balls. <laughs> like, horrible. I've gotten the past two mini palettes like this. So it was the Caliente and I think the Ethereal Bloom or something like that. Worst palettes in my collection, like, without question. Just because the quality of the shadows is hot trash. The packaging is amazing. That's where I'm like, um, Mac Daddy, can you do us a solid and um, match the quality of the shadows on the inside to the packaging? Because the packaging is, like, could not be better. I think this looks so cute. This is totally a color story that screams my name. If the quality is, like, his bigger palettes, it will be incredible. I know it will be. But one thing that I'm, like that kind of gives me hope for this one is because usually in his smaller palettes, the neutrals are usually very good. It's just one of those things, like, it's very inconsistent, and that's where I'm just like, all right, if I was just, like, an average consumer, I would not buy this based on the experience that I've had with the other ones. But the, like, makeup reviewer in me wants to get this to see if it's just as good as the bigger palettes or 
matches the same crap quality as his other ones. Like, and I hate saying that because I'm such a big fan of, like, the Supreme Nudes. I feel like Supreme Nudes, <laughs> let me coin this real quick. I feel like I was one of the few people that were really raving about it, like, when it first came out. And then it got the hype I thought it deserved. I'm like, how do I feel about this chin moment right now? Because I usually do bronzer before, but I forgot. <laughs> I just did my contour. I usually do that before my foundation so it doesn't look as harsh. I'm trying to mask that double chin I got going on. <laughs> so this one, I'm like, all right, color story, 10 out of 10. Love it. But I'm just a little nervous about the quality, but it's, what, 30 bucks, I think. It's already available on Sephora. And to get that 20% off, I'm just like, yeah, if, like, if I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it at Sephora because why wouldn't you? <laughs> that chin looks dark. Does it look better now? It's a little dark. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right, let's move on. Let's see how, right? Does it look? Look how pretty that shade is, though, like, on the cheek. I shouldn't have put it on the jawline. I should have left that as contour. <laughs> That's what I get. I've been trying a new technique. Or, not new technique. I've been trying a new placement on the jawline because normally I put it underneath. But I feel like when I contour up here, it basically gives the illusion that I have a higher chin. <laughs> Today it's not working for me. It's fine. Okay, next one. Let's talk about... What do we have next? Makeup eraser and more Rugrats. Yay! <laughs> Between Disney and Nickelodeon, they must be really trying to recoup the money that they lost in 2020. Because it's like, damn, where are all these collabs coming from? So this is Makeup Eraser and Rugrats, like I said. I think this is like $25. You get a seven-day set. It's basically the same thing that they just did with the Disney villains and the Disney princesses. Makeup erasers are fantastic products, like, love them. Incredible at taking off your makeup without having to use, like, any sort of a product with it. Just use warm water. Like, if you have really sensitive skin, I think that this would be a great product for you. But I would rather get the Disney princesses because I'm biased. And that's all I need to say. But it's cute. Like, I can appreciate it. Not bad. And then we have Nabla, which... Nabla, I feel like, is a brand that is, I don't want to say growing on me because I've actually been, like, a fan of them for probably, like, a year now. I feel like, all right, let's go through this. The Vicious Mascara, the Gold Edition. So this is a product they've already done before. And then the Glorious Lights Glitter Palette for 24, I think it's euros? Right? We always get this confused, I think. So these glitter palettes, I think the concept of them is very ideal. Simply because if I want to use a glitter, I do like the fact that this is just glitters in its little palette, like by itself. The quality of these are really nice, but for my sensitive eyes and for how chunky that these ones specifically look, because I'm actually a fan of the previous ones that I've gotten before, but I'm just like, first of all, I never use them, <laughs> like, ever, and I think it's just something that I'm like, I just can appreciate it, but that doesn't mean I need to buy it sort of a thing. So these, I'm not, I don't have any intention on picking these up. I'm going to try to snatch this cheekbone with the Scott Barnes Snatural Palette. What do you guys think though? Like, are you interested? Are you here for it? Are you curious? Like, I don't know. Like, the quality, like I said, is good. I love the packaging that they use for these. But that's not enough to make me want to buy it. I wish there was something more, like, exciting, I guess, coming. But this one, I'm just like, okay, it's fine. Not a bad price, but it is a little bit more on the spency side. I always feel like I say Nabla 2 is basically like Italy's version of drugstore makeup. Because it's still like, I would say on the more like affordable side in comparison to like our drugstore, <laughs> if you will. Our drugstore, like when I pay $20 for that L'Oreal foundation, that new one. 
I was like, when the fuck did foundations get so expensive at the drugstore? Because I remember even when, like, the physician's formula, I think I initially paid, like, the first time I got it, I think it was, like, $14, and I was like, oh my god, that's ridiculous. But now I got that L'Oreal, what is it? The L'Oreal um, Hyaluronic Tinted Serum, this was $20 fucking dollars. Like, what? <laughs> okay, so this one I'm just like, okay, it's cute, I can appreciate it, but no, I don't need to buy it. How are we looking? Do we look snatched? Do we look like Sna Scott Barnes just came and snatched my face? All right. This one I'm super excited about because I love a fucking highlighter and I love products like this. And for me, like, to be excited about Fenty is exciting for me because this is a rare occasion. So Fenty is coming out with a liquid kilowatt fluid freestyle highlighters. Available December 10th. This is the product that I'm waiting to place my Sephora order because I'm like... All right, I want to love something Fenty. Like, I'm always really underwhelmed when it comes to Fenty. I want to love something. And I think that this could be it. <laughs> Whatever bronzer you're putting on your face is doing something extraordinary. Scott Barnes, baby. <laughs> Tell me that that did not chisel the fuck out of my face right there, though. Right? And that was the refer number 18 brush that I used. Okay. <laughs> try buying drugstore in Canada. I can only imagine. Like, try buying anything in Canada, right? <laughs> so, these highlighters, nothing, like, nothing unique about them whatsoever. But I'm like, Vintage Velour is screaming my name. I was just like, oh my god, I love a pink highlight. Like, Vintage Velour and I think Hustler Baby, even Side Chick, I'm just like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to try this. I want to see what formula it's similar to. I think I'm going to get the, um, get that vintage one, though. Vin what the fuck was it called? Vintage Velour. 28 bucks, so not terrible pricing. It's got, like, a squeezy tube applicator, I think, which isn't my favorite. But I don't care because I want to love something. <laughs> Rihanna, I agree. How could they fuck this up? But you never know. <laughs> you never fucking know. I looked through my whole collection for a blush that I felt would be perfect for this palette. And this was the only one that I could find. I think that this blush is so unique. Like in the drawer full of blushes that I have, even cream blushes, I'm like, I have nothing that looks like this because I wanted something with like a more purple vibe to it. Tell me that that is not such a pretty blush, especially with this palette. Mm, I can't wait to see this look when I'm finished. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking fucking forever today. So these, I'm very excited. I do plan on getting that. Give you guys a nice little close up. Let me do some... Let me do some of the highlighter in there as well. I just want you guys to see how unique this shade is. This is, I think it's Sweet Mulberry is the shade. I feel like I've talked about this a lot in the past year, actually. I used this in, what was it? It was an Alien Cosmetics video, I think, now known as Unearthly Cosmetics. We're going to talk about them in a little bit as well. Look how pretty that shade is, though. Like, if you want a purple, like, very wearable blush... Cover FX. I'll try to remember to link that for you guys. <laughs> okay, let's move on. What do we have next? What do we have? What? Do, oh my god. All right. How do you guys feel about Machine Gun Kelly? <laughs> Cause listen, might be an unpopular opinion. I think the best thing that he could have done was go like punk rock. Just saying, like. First of all, how dare you try to try to battle Eminem? Just saying. But worked for him. But damn, I think his music is so much better now. But besides that, he's launching <laughs> a new brand. I should have mentioned this at the beginning too. So this is U N D N Lacquer Under Lack or Un Undone. Is that what it's supposed to mean by Machine Gun Kelly? Harry Styles just do the same damn thing too. Let's see what it is. Oh, let's see. 
a bunch of different colors the $18 each you got a gloss top and bottom coat three nail polishes and a set for $52 or you can get the six polish nail art kit for $86 vegan and cruelty free yeah like didn't um didn't Harry Styles just do this <laughs> nobody gives a fuck <laughs> the shade the shade is thrown uh, let's see, I used to like him, and then he tried to battle Eminem. Like, what? <laughs> as soon as that happened, I need to move this over a little bit. Hold on. And try not to fuck it up. It's, like, driving me crazy how it was a little off-centered. Um, how dare anybody try to battle Eminem? <laughs> oh, like, okay, cool. Cool, Machine Gun Kelly. But not. Nah. I'll, um, I'll happily throw my money at, um, like, Lights Lacquer or Hollow Taco instead. Anyways, let's talk about Clinique. <clears throat> Celebrating the Lunar New Year, the year of the, dri or the year of the tiger, and look who's back. The Cheek Pop Highlighter by Clinique in Gold Pop. So this is a re-promo, technically, but just the different embossing, I think. Has anybody gotten this? Because I've never purchased this. But I hear I feel like really good things about the cheek pops, right? Like, I feel like if anything, the blushes are what people usually like the most. Can we talk about that highlight? Oh! Yes. <laughs> okay, so let me know your guys' feedback. I'm just over here like, all right, it's another gold highlighter that I definitely don't need. But if I were to see this in store, maybe I would consider getting it because I know how I am. I just, I love, if I had to pick a favorite, a pinky tone highlighter is probably my favorite. But if you were to look at my collection, I have the most in gold. So maybe I should get this. I don't know. Oh, last year was an ox. Okay. The cheek pop products are good, but I just don't need this. So that tells me I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the new Kaleidos highlighter. Amanda, be patient. Be patient. We're getting there. <laughs> it's a cat. Of course you need it. <laughs> I should get it for my mom. My mom is like obsessed with her cats lately. Oh my God. She's like a new cat mom. Which one's next? Oh, Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty is launching new shades of their soft pinch liquid blushes. Now unpopular opinion time another one that i'm just like don't get the hype i don't like this formula so i'm not excited about it but a weightless long-lasting liquid blush that blends to blends and buildable for a soft healthy flush for 20 dollars. you got the shade hope which is a nude mauve dewy encourage a soft neutral pink also dewy and then believe is a true mauve dewy so all dewy finishes $22 available December 9th on their website and probably on Sephora as well. Like these shades look super cute. It's just the formula I was not a fan of like at all. And I thought I would fucking love these. If I had to ping, I don't understand why I keep freezing so much. Like <sighs> fucking YouTube. I'm going to blame YouTube for shits and gigs. All right. Let's see. I enjoyed the dewy formula of the rare beauty blushes. I like her concealer brush, but that's it. See her brushes didn't feel like for how expensive they were they didn't feel like great quality they felt like very cheap packaging i thought but um or not packaging like the handle it was just it wasn't my favorite and then ooh, this one i got this sent to me because i'm like i've never heard of this brand before but look what they're doing oh this is Bitter Lace Beauty. I know I've heard of this brand before. So this is the Kaleidoscope Glow After Dark Collection. Oh, baby. Iridescent pigments that have the sparkle and shine of a glitter features their chrome bow rainbow finish and scented with a touch of citrus volcano fragrance. Don't know how I feel about that because fragrance and my eyeballs, probably a bad combination. This collection features new deep and rich jewel tone multi-chrome products that will color shift depending on the movement of the light. They're all $20 a piece, except for the bottom one is $22. These look so pretty though. These pan sizes, I'm only like speculating, but I can see these pan sizes being huge. 
I love this though, like how they do multiple colors in one and those jewel tones look so beautiful. So that's probably carnival glass. That's probably the one that's $22, which that $22 for a mixture like that. I, I could see myself getting that because one, it's different and you get basically four shadows in one. There's just, oh, I fucking love shit like this. Like if I go color, it's for stuff like this because it's just so pretty and it's just so, it's like unique, but not really in my mind. It's unique. <laughs> they are big pans. Okay. Good to know. That's where I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, they look like they would be big pans, but also speculating because there's not like a side by side comparison, but they do look pretty. They are obviously spency, but I mean, you're getting something that is like special shades, but, um, have y'all heard of Davina? <laughs> okay. Let's go to, we got Ofer Cosmetics. Like, these are incredible products, but it's just like, okay, we've seen these so many times, like, it's not exciting anymore. So, they're launching new shades of their highlighters, which, again, these highlighter formulas are fucking gorgeous. So, they're launching, it looks like, five new shades, pumpkin pie, gingerbread, peppermint, sugar cookie, and gun drop. So, I mean, I would be so interested in this if they were like minis or something because I don't know. Like I just, <laughs> again, I'm overwhelmed, especially with highlighters. And when I look at these, I'm like, okay, are they anything like, oh my God, I need that. I'm like, no, I have all these, you know, I already have them. I know I do. And I probably have them from Ofra. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just wish they would do stuff different. I like when they do like the multiple shades in one because the pan sizes are so big that it's super easy to like only use one of them and not have to mix them. I think that that is a way better option for them. But again, that's just me and my preference and my opinion and they can do whatever the fuck they want. But they're $35 each. Ofra is another brand I would suggest never paying full price for because their stuff is always on sale. They're like quite often in like boxy charm and stuff or at like you can get it, you can get them at Ulta as well, but I feel like influencers always have codes that are like 30% off. Like I think Samantha still has her code with them. I could be wrong, but I I remember her having her code with them. Yeah, I just like nah. <laughs> I don't think I could pan out <laughs> for highly if I live to be 150 same Z's even if I like only used Oprah I still don't think I would be able to pan because there's so much like it's so much product but again their formulas are beautiful like insanely blinding like if you love a blinding highlighter this is definitely a brand I would recommend fantastic quality great packaging everything about this I like it's just especially in like Today's day and age, and also especially, like, holiday time, that was, like, I, I did not need that right now. <laughs> and then we have my boo. My boo, Nars. <laughs> Nars is launching the new Lunar New Year collection, January 1st in Japan. I don't know if this will come to the U.S., but this palette, this palette, though. The palette looks like it's Taj Mahal, I think it was called. So I think it's a re-promo. And luckily for me, like if this comes to the US, I will buy it because I fucking love NARS eyeshadow palettes. This kind of gives me like Charlotte Tilbury, um, oh my God, what the hell is the name of it? The Qu Fire Rose. It kind of gives me that vibe. A little bit different, obviously. But um, I just, I love NARS. I love their eyeshadows. Like, they became a love in 2021. And I slept on NARS for so, so long. And I feel like people still sleep on NARS a lot. Look at me. I'm always here like, <laughs> either I don't get the hype and everybody's talking about these and they suck. Or I'm over here like, these brands don't get enough love. Like, they deserve the hype. Like, <laughs> I need to chill. <laughs> the quad is on ASOS. I might have to go buy it. 
I might have to go at it. Because, like, red packaging with this color story makes sense. The red packaging with the Climax palette made no fucking sense. I was just like, fuck, man. They could have done so much better on the packaging of that Climax palette, but I don't even care because it's still just, like, a bomb-ass palette. One of the best palettes, in my opinion, of 2021. Y'all want to see a, a rankings this year for all of my palettes? Because <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I don't even remember all the palettes that I bought from this year, though. <laughs> Might just have to do, a, like, ranking my entire makeup collection or eyeshadow palette collection. I'm trying to get this to, like, wing just a little bit more because it's not, it's not as wingy as I want it to be. Okay, that's good enough. Let's move on. NARS ICU. That there's also a translucent powder, but that I'm just like, I don't care. I want the palette. <laughs> okay, then we have oh Givenchy. I see Givenchy is trending on TikTok for their holiday highlighter now because I think it was Rose from Rose and Ben. She did like a little uh basically like Next viral highlighter, and then I did the same thing with the Westman Atelier because I think the Westman Atelier deserves to go, like, viral. <laughs> so, Givenchy, this is, I think, their spring collection. These freaking blushes, like, any time that their products come in these, like, like, where it's the four colors, then you could basically mix them and do custom shades and shit. I don't know what it is about these. I always am like, ooh, it but I don't ever think that I will use it. That's why I never buy them. Oh, but it looks so nice. Like, the lip products I could honestly care less about. It's these quad, like, the quad cheek products. The packaging does look cute on those lip products, though. Am I sleeping on Givenchy? Like, tell me. That looks like three blushes and a highlighter. Oh, the packaging. Ooh, that one in the middle looks really pretty. I might end up getting that. It's spring, so I got some time to think about it. <laughs> Givenchy highlighter is very pretty. Are you talking about the the um, holiday one? Because I was actually going to purchase that at Sephora if it was available during this, like, 20% off, but I don't see it on there anymore. Wasn't it available on there, though? Or am I remembering incorrectly? Because I was like, maybe it sold out. I wouldn't be surprised if um if TikTok made it sell out because... Yeah, I saw Rose's video. I saw Steffi did a video on it. And when shit goes viral on TikTok, good luck fucking getting your hands on it. Holy Toledo. Let's see. If they add added shoppers to each color. Oh, if they added stoppers? Yes. That would be so much better. I'd probably buy them if they did that. Just because I'm like, what if I don't want all four shades though? Right? <laughs> okay, Ronnie said it was at Sephora. That's what I thought. Okay, I was like... Am I full of shit or not? <laughs> All right, let's talk about, ooh, ZC Cosmetics. So this brand, they kill it when it comes to their packaging. Because, oh my God, they sent me, what the hell did they, they sent me a few things. And I was just like, oh my God. It's like works of art when it comes to their packaging. These ones, to me, aren't nearly as impressive. Like, I think it's just a totally different vibe. But this is the ZC Desert Collection, and there's a powder brush, I think, right? Three flavors to choose from. This is a beginner-friendly blush with a smooth powder and moderate pigmentation. Okay, so designed for beginners. I ain't mad at it. Like, cutesy sort of a packaging. Would this be something I'd be like, oh my god, I need it? Absolutely not. <laughs> you can tell that they're... Very light, definitely very beginner-friendly shades, in my opinion. Cute, but I think we've seen things from them that were way better and way prettier. But I could see, like, I could see where they're going with it, you know? So that one, I'm not going to buy it. But this one, I thought about it. <laughs> this is the new Tammy Tunica, I think is how you pronounce your name. The Snake Eyeshadow Palette. I actually was just sent a tiny little Tammy Tonica palette. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I think it's Sigil. Sigil by Tammy Tonica. Is that how you pronounce it? These mini sizes are like 
so teeny tiny because that's what I got was a mini size. I can't remember the name of the palette. It's over, it's over yonder, so I can't grab it right now. But what a good idea to do a mini and a full size because especially for people like me that have bigger collections, like to be able to buy a mini size, do a review on it, and if you guys are into it, like to be able to buy either a mini or a full size, like so smart. Another thing, it's like, why don't more brands do this shit? But it's probably expensive. But I'm like, this is an indie brand and they're able to do it. So why can't bigger brands do it? Make it make sense, right? S is it sigil? Sigil? Is that how you pronounce it? My pronunciation is on point, guys. <laughs> These shades are so gorgeous. Over my budget and I don't need cream. <laughs> ah, I know. It's like, do any of us honestly need fucking anything at this point? <laughs> nope. Give me all the green shadows. Damn, Gina. Yep. Okay. Tanuka. 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 We'll get it. <laughs> we'll get it eventually. I'm like, can I just get like a translator up in here? <laughs> Somebody that can actually pronounce shit correctly. One day. One day we'll get it, but that day is not today or anytime soon. Y'all came here for the Hot Mess Express. This palette's fucking cute though. I love the color story. I can't wait to try the palette that I have so excited all right i'm gonna put lashes on today i usually don't for late night videos but i'm gonna do it because i'm gonna film a little tiktok after i'm gonna use my new bali lashes i showed these in my haul yesterday in the style como let's see what these look like so what do you guys think are you guys here for it i'm like oh these colors especially that green in the middle oh yes bitch i'm here for it all right, and then you guys asked to talk about this earlier. Let's talk about the Nucleidos highlighter. What shade is this? I think it's called Gifted. What do we think? Are you guys here for it? Because let me tell you about these Kaleidos highlighters. These are gorgeous highlighters. And they're like, they're more of like an editorial vibe is how I explain them. Because they have like the color shifts and stuff like that. But for being more like of an editorial vibe, they're still like insanely wearable. Like for having the color shifts and the different undertones and stuff like that, still very wearable, which is why I like them so much. And then like the sparkle effect that these have on the face is just beautiful. I don't know. I usually get PR from Kaleidos, but I haven't heard if I'll be getting these. I hope so, but even if I don't, I would still buy this because I'm like, you know what? I have all of them in my collection and I just want to keep adding to that collection, but these, they're just, they're beautiful. And it's not a product that I use all the time, but there's definitely a time and a place for something like this. You know, especially if you're going to turn up, get fucked up. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> these are the types of highlighters people are going to be like, whoa, what's on your, like, what's on your face? Super, super cute. Love it. I'm here for it. Love the packaging. Yes, bitch. December 9th. I'll make sure I update you guys if I see that these um, drop. But we got, what, three days? Even, like, December, I'm like, it's already fucking flying by. It's only six days in, but I'm like, damn. She's like, it's going by so fast. All right, let's skip ahead. Ooh, y'all know I'm excited. Y'all know. So, we were talking about other AHAs earlier, but I'm like, guess which one I'm getting? <laughs> the Texture Tonic. Tatcha was really over there like, how can we make a product for Brittany and she's going to know it? Let's name it the Texture Tonic. I'm so excited. A, li a liquid exfoliating treatment of fruit AHAs, niacinamide, Japanese mugwort, and wild rose that visibly even skin tone and texture for calm, smooth skin. Gentle chemical exfoliation lifts tired surface cells and debris to decongest pores. $59, which I was expecting it to be more expensive than that. Fuck me all the way up. Yes, I'm buying it. Like, no question. As soon as it drops, yes. Uh-huh. You know why? Texture. Texture all over my face. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is the excitement that I need 
when it comes to skincare and Tatcha gives me it. And it's probably going to smell amazing because what doesn't smell amazing from Tatcha? I feel like I should have trimmed these lashes, but I'm going to try... I'm going to try to get away with not doing it. Let's see how these look. Ah! I just stuck to myself. I just stuck my finger up my nose. What do you guys think? When is that dropping? I don't know. It just says coming soon to their website and Sephora. Touch me, Tatcha. <laughs> yes. I'm so fucking here for this one. Right? Are you guys excited? I just bought the Polish Choice one, though. I bought the mini size, which I'm actually really into that one as well. I personally am like, okay, but do I like it more than the Lotion P50 1970, though? It's a toss-up because I think the Lotion P50 1970, I like the fact that you could, like, feel it working. Whereas the Polish Choice, it's like, I barely could tell that I put anything on because it doesn't have that, like, instant gratification feeling i wonder if this one's gonna have that feeling not that that's like a bad thing because if anything i feel like more people would be able to use the polish choice one because it's not like super abrasive feeling on the skin but i'm like i'm so glad that i bought a mini size because i know damn well i'm gonna be um buying this one <laughs> tatcha comes before sunday <laughs> this will be a rouge insider first access you think so is that like inside scoop that we're getting right here? Wait, what did I miss? <laughs> I can't wait. All right, let me try to focus on putting this freaking lash on. Like, do you guys love Tatcha as much as I do? Genuine question. <laughs> All right, I know I got to fix that lash. Let's go on to the next one. Juvia's Place. We've got more palettes. So I feel like, like when I saw that dark blue palette, I'm like, didn't they launch that already? I could have sworn they've done like a deep blue palette, but I could be mistaken. This is what I'm saying. Like if you love colorful eyeshadows, you would fucking love Juvia's Place because they just, they knock it out of the fucking park. For me, I just, I know I won't reach for these. Even like the, the neutral palettes that I have from Juvia's Place, I never reach for them. I don't know if it's just because of like the packaging snobbing me because I am very snobbish when it comes to packaging if you're new here and they have just like your traditional basically like cardboard packaging and I just prefer like high-end luxury that's just me and my journey you know but like beautiful palettes great quality I'm sure I'm sure there's gonna be reviews on this on on the tubes what do you guys think? Are you here for it? I'm really trying to get this inner corner to stick, but I should have trimmed down these lashes for sure. And I'm going to try to get it so my eye don't fucking water. God dang it. Let's try this little trick that I like to do sometimes. I basically put my lash curler on and then I try to tighten the band. <laughs> yes, they did a monochromatic blue palette earlier this year. Okay. It wasn't as deep though. Okay. Good to know that I'm not losing my damn mind. I need to put more glue on this, I think. Because I think I lost it on the inner corner. Because that is not sticking, like, at all. And now my eye's starting to water. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we need more glue. So, yeah, for me, easy pass. Even that top palette. I'm like, I feel like I've seen that before. Oh, well, it's fine. I'm not going to get these, but they're available... When are they available? Oh, these are also holiday. $15 a piece. I'm sure that they're already available because the other one already dropped. So, yeah. It's there if you guys are interested. <laughs> and then we have Unearthly Cosmetics is launching holiday too. We got another sneak peek today. It still says Alien Cosmetics, but I think that these were just put into production before um, the rebrand. So, you're just going to have to deal with it being Alien Cosmetics instead of Unearthly. But same company. So there's two holiday collections coming. And I don't think we've seen the inside yet, but we saw this little picture today. Does this have any info? Holiday collections arrive Friday. I will be filming a reveal video as soon as they come in. Keep an eye out for updates. This launch is super limited. These are the final items with the Alien Cosmetics name. I put my heart and soul into this launch and I really hope you love it. I will post launch details soon. 
in the dark and smells like holiday spirit collections ready i just think of clueless every time i see this <laughs> i was actually out on saturday and this girl she had the cutest fucking outfit she had pants on that looked just like that and then she had like a cropped fucking like yellow cardigan or some shit i'm like i walked up to her i'm like I'm sorry, but you look like you belong straight in the movie Clueless. <laughs> and she got a good laugh out of it. I'm like, I know you're going to hear that probably 8,000 times tonight, but I don't care. <laughs> I was like, I just had to come tell you that. I can appreciate your outfit. Because <laughs> she pulled it off so well. I'm like, damn, I wish I could pull that off. She was killing it. Oh my God. I even got, I got pulled on stage to fucking sing the other night. I was dying. Because my... I went to see my friend's band. I posted him on my um, Insta story. So I went to see them because I was going to have them play at my bar. And I'm like, okay, I haven't seen them in like live yet. I mean, I've seen obviously my friend sing before, but I've never seen him with this band play. So I'm sitting there watching, dancing, living my best fucking life. Doesn't he call my ass out and pull me on stage to sing No Scrubs? I'm like, how dare you? I'm the worst singer of all time, and this motherfucker pulls me on stage. I'm so glad that I have not seen any video clips of it. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just not a high-end makeup user. I will drop 150 bucks on a perfume, so I love Juvia's Place ColourPop products. Yeah, see, that's where it's like, even though these aren't necessarily products for me, I still like to feature them and talk about them, even though, like, I might not be interested in them. You guys might be. Because we're all in different spaces, you know? We all like different shit. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm really struggling to get this fucking lash to stay, but hopefully it stays now. And then the last one we have, and of course we couldn't finish out the fucking week without ColourPop. Oh, fucking ColourPop. We have the Feelin' Bubbly Collection. I swear, they don't fuck. Now I think I got water on these. What the fuck? <laughs> My eyes keep watering and I think it's picking up the glue. Again, I should have I should have definitely trimmed these down. But I li like I like when they're along my whole eye. It's just this is why I need to trim them is because they just poke me in the eye and then I can't get them to place correctly. So this is let's read real quick. Ah, oh, Feelin' Bubbly Collection. You got an eyeshadow palette, jelly mutt shadows, super shock highlighters, a luxe gloss. Available December 9th. Does anybody care? We've totally seen this before. Like, 8,000 fucking times, haven't we? Right? I don't know. Like, the basic bitch in me should love this. But it's just... Ugh, I'm so over ColourPop. Damn it. Like... Can we do something besides collaborations good? Just wondering. I'm really trying with this lash right now. <laughs> I'm like, it's just not sitting correctly. Behave! So, uh, I think you guys could tell I don't care about this. I don't plan on ordering this. <laughs> the only thing I really ever order from ColourPop is collabs. And then, like, while I'm already placing an order, I'm like, yeah, let me just throw this in my cart. That's basically how I shop. But their website overwhelmed me, like I said, and this is exactly why. It's because everything on there looks the fucking same. It's just, no, no, pass. Definitely not interested. Is that white, like a white eyeshadow? I think so. Let's see if we can scroll and see. Like, I hate the look of that texture right there. Swatches look decent. The lip products, I don't like ColourPop lip products at all. I mean, it looks kind of like, uh, I don't think it's like white, white. It's probably like an off-white shade. That's kind of how it looks in that. It kind of reminds me of like Banana Split a little bit from Makeup Geek or something like that. <laughs> I still don't care. Nope. Available December 9th. You could use code TREADMOOD for 10% off if you care. <laughs> I don't. All right, let's finish this look off. If that eyelash comes up, I'll fix it after. I got to do my hair anyways. Let me finish this off with... 
I want to do like a purple moment on my lips. I think I'm going to mix a couple shades. I'm going to lay this one down first. These are the Alien Cosmetics or Unearthly Cosmetics. I still got to get used to saying alien, or not saying alien. Unearthly Cosmetics, the Satin Liquid Lips. I swatched these on my TikTok if you guys didn't see. But I'm going to lay down the shade Angela first. Oh my God, I never do my top lip first. Let's do the bottom. <laughs> And then I gotta figure out what shade I wanna do next. Entertain yourselves. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Like, how am I lining? Brittany, get it together. <laughs> oh my lord. Close enough on the bottom lip. Now let's get this Cupid's bow. What's today, Monday? All right, question for you guys while I'm lining my lips. What video would you like to see tomorrow? I have the, um, shit. Alamar Cosmetics and Kanto collection I just got yesterday. And then I also have the Lady Gaga House Labs. I got that yesterday as well. Or not yesterday, the other day. Mm, that color. Yes, bitch. Let me fix this. But I'm not going to do just this color. I want to mix. Do a nice little ombre moment. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Purple with this eye look. She snapped. But I want to add some Diana in there. I think this would be a cute little combo. Let's do Diana. Yes, bitch. Nice little ombre moment. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's a cute fucking lip right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Alamara video. Gaga is a no always. <laughs> oh, let's see. Alamar and Canto. House lamps, please. <laughs> I love when it's opposite opinions. I'm like, when am I going to learn to not ask you guys? Because every time I do, it always ends up being like 50-50 every single time. <laughs> What highlighter is that? Everyone wants to know. You likey? You likey? It is, I showed this on my Insta story yesterday, Makeup Geek. This one here. I think it's called Galactic, maybe? These pans are fucking huge. Nope, Celestial. Makeup Geek Celestial. They sent me these. I was like, oh my god. What a fucking dream. If y'all know, you know, Makeup Geek is one of my favorite brands, like, of all time. Look at this look. Just look at me. <laughs> now, if only my hair was done, it would be so much better. I just need to blend this a little bit more. So, what do you guys think about the eyeshadow palette that I used today? It's the new Viseart from the Paris Atole or something like that. I'll show you guys in just a second. I just want to fin finish this off. I'm not mad at it. Like, quality of it was really nice. It's this palette right here. The Paris Atole. So I did say it right. Looks like this. She cute. See, it's like colors, but very much my vibe. Mm-hmm. Let's give you guys a zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom. My supernova girl. Yeah. That metallic, though, is stealing the show right? If you guys like the highlighter, you can use code BRITCHES. <laughs> I have a link for Makeup Geek down below. Make sure you guys check the description box. Oh, I love that. Like, that lid shade. Let me give you guys swatches of this really quick, if you guys care. By the way, um, there's 119 thumbs ups. So I'm gonna need you guys to come through, okay? Please and thank you so much. Like, it literally, it takes, it takes just one second. It's like right there, or right there. It's underneath this video. Just hit the thumbs up, damn it. It's so simple. 
Mm. Zoomy zoom. All right, let me give you guys swatches of this palette. Because I don't know if I'll do a dedicated video since I obviously used it for today's video. These metallics feel fucking nice. Ooh, like all the formulas they do. But they're probably not going to swatch as impressive for the mattes. Yeah, that's not impressive whatsoever. That applied way more pigmented on my eyeballs. So, friendly reminder, don't always judge palettes by their swatches. Oh, that purple. Oh, yes, bitch. Yeah, the, the metallics are definitely stealing the show, especially like this one and then the one that's on my eyes. So then this is the bottom row. Oh my god, these mattes swatch horribly. <laughs> wow, look at that blue. Like, you see the blue on my eyes and how poorly that swatches. Damn. Yeah, again, don't judge by swatches. But yeah, these this metallics, that's fucking nice. And then this shade. I'm surprised I didn't use this shade. Oh, yes. So far, this one's a winner. I'm going to have to keep using it, but here's the swatches cute like super cool tone it's like neutral with your pops of blue but super wearable like i love this i love the color story nancy thank you so much for the super sticker a shiba dog clapping his hands <laughs> yes i love that for me <laughs> thank you so much nancy you guys are too sweet so other than that oh my god swatch makeup geek highlighter please okay fine Fine. You know what? I'll swatch it if we get 150 thumbs ups. There's 138. Y'all want me to swatch highlighters? I'll swatch all four of them if you guys come through. Mm-hmm. Sure will. So I have, what is it? Celestial. Let me tell you the shades first. Celestial. Then we have Glitz. These pants. Oh my God. They're fucking huge. <laughs> And then Luster, and then Rekindle. I'm not going to remember those. <laughs> All right, we're up to 144. Six more, baby. <laughs> I love harassing you guys to just like the damn video for swatches. <laughs> if you want any other swatches, let me know. We could keep playing this little game. Oh my God, we've been here for a, an hour and 38 minutes. Guys, we literally need one more. One fucking more. <laughs> Guys, I didn't do my brows again. Oh my God, that's the second time in a row. I forgot to do my fucking eyebrows. <laughs> oh my God. I see you guys hit the, hit the thumbs up. So I'll swatch them for you, okay? Let me just fill in these brows really quick. How do I keep forgetting to do my fucking eyebrows? But you're going to see why I love the Huda Beauty Brow Pencil. Because it's quick, easy, precise. And it's just, bam, done. Simple. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I love this lip right now, though. Fucking vibe. All right. One brow. Close enough. I'll fix it after. I'm just trying not to pick up my freaking eyelashes because I feel the I feel my um brow pencil grabbing it like tell me that this is not the best fucking brow pencil though I love I love this damn thing yes 157 Bridget's coming through is there anybody watching that's new to the live chat and then where are you guys watching from but I would love to know if you guys are new and catching it live for the first time. What do you think? Like, are you guys here for it? Or you're like, this is a fucking train wreck. <laughs> it always is. Spoiler. But that's the fun of it, right? Oh, yeah. Good enough for brows. Look at how much better that looks now. <laughs> ah, Bethany said you forgot <laughs> because you have my brows. That's right, I was just like, why do I look undone? And that's exactly why. It's because I didn't have fucking brows on. Okay. Fix this. That's been, like, my new little trick. Like, whenever it looks a little bit too harsh, I just, like, boop, ran in the corner. All right, let's start with Celestial. I swatched these, actually, on my Insta story yesterday. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already saw these Makeup Geek highlighters yesterday. But I had to use Flash. So you'll get 
a slightly different uh, sort of a look today. Love your whole look. It's a vibe. Yes. I, it's like, to me, like very holiday vibes. Minus maybe the purple lip, but it's fine. All right. Celestial. It looks white in the pan, but it's got a slight purple, like a purplish pink reflect to it. These aren't going to have like any sparkle. It's all just like sheen. That's one thing I do really like because it doesn't accentuate texture as much. When you get the sparkle effect, that's when you start to really enhance texture, at least for me. And then the next one is the shade Glitz. I feel like this one might be my favorite because, again, I love a pinky highlight. But I will just suggest to you that if you're shopping Makeup Geek highlighters, they always look darker in the pan than they actually look on your face. I feel like Makeup Geek and um, Lunar Beauty is another one that I feel like does that as well. So this next one is Luster. This one would probably be like a good everyday sort of a shade for me. So pretty. And these were all sent to me as well. This kind of reminds me of, no, I was going to say Mars a little bit, but not really. No, that's like way lighter. Beautiful. And then the last one is Rekindle. I think I had this one before. So when I was sent this one again, I'm like, ooh, so excited to have it again. So these are all the four highlighters that I was just sent. They're so cute. I love Makeup Geek. <laughs> I'm so fucking biased. I love, 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 love them. So is there anything you guys else want swatched? I think that's going to be it for today, though, because damn. Brooklyn in the house. It's Brooklyn in the house. Yeah. Okay, let me take a drink. All right, guys. Thank you, Nicole, for requesting the... Um, Makeup Geek Swatches. All right, let's get down to biz. What do we want to see tomorrow? We got the Encanto or we've got the Lady Gaga or House Labs. One of those will be tomorrow's video. I think I'm leaning towards the Encanto though from Alamar Cosmetics because I saw that palette and I'm like, oh, it looks so pretty. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys check out tomorrow. I think it might be live in the morning tomorrow, though. We'll see. Or maybe afternoon time. Yeah. Morning or afternoon. I'm not really sure yet. But make sure you guys are also subscribed. If you are not subscribed already, if you are new and enjoyed yourself today, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up or thumbs it down. That's cool, too. Turn on your post notifications and follow me on my other socials, especially TikTok and Instagram. Please and thank you so much. And other than that, I'll be back tomorrow for something, probably the Encanto. But happy Britchmas, happy Monday. I think that's all I got for you. Maybe I'll post a picture on Instagram after with my hair done. Okay? <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next one. Okay, bye!